Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name's Steve and that's Howie. We're out um, just on the edge of the South Downs National Park again. Uh, it's part of my local woodland in a place called the Forest of Bear. Uh, B-E-R-E. -E. So I've uh, been having a scout around here for the past couple of weeks. Just trying to find somewhere really. That's why I haven't posted the video because I've been uh, exploring this woodland. Seeing if I can find somewhere just a little bit different from the norm. So I went on Google Maps, but I couldn't really find anything that was in detail enough. So I decided to go to the Ordnance Survey Maps. These give far more detail and um, they give like different trees, what kind of trees are growing in the particular woodland and stuff like that. So I decided to use that and uh, I come across these uh, ponds, about five of them there is. Um, not very big. Let me just swing around and I'll uh, show you them. So we've got like little ponds there's about five of these they're like little swamp ponds but the good thing i like about these is they're all covered in moss um it's not probably the ideal conditions at the moment just for the fact that it's um it's mid-morning and the sun's quite bright well, i think i can get around that maybe use a polarizer to take the glare off some of some of the water things like that but the first thing i did notice when i came to this place was the swamp lands and they do look absolutely fantastic they look a bit like um what's that place dago bar where yoda lives so uh ever since i started looking at these ponds that's the first thing it reminds me of so it can give a little bit more mood it's a shame it's not misty if it was misty these would look absolutely brilliant i think all i'm missing from these swamps is an x-wing fighter and yoda but I think I could get some good images here. So I'm just going to scout this area out. It's no bigger than 150 metres square. But obviously where you've got the different ponds, you've got so many more compositions you can get. So I want to take a look and uh, back in a minute. Hey, uh, oh, have you seen a black Labrador running around have you? Ah, about 20 minutes ago, yeah. Oh. Um, down by the main road. It had just crossed the road. He did, right. he did cross the road. Um, is it, the, you know where it forks? Yes. There, just there. I, I slowed down and he ran in front of me and everyone was, was slowing down, so right, okay. they, they were aware that there's a dog in that area. Okay, no worries. Right, where was I? Oh, yeah. So this is my first composition. Um, what I do like about this is the pond goes into a point. So I've based my camera just at the point of where it comes in. Um, we've got three main focal points. We've got the first one, which is the branch sticking out in front of us. In the middle one, you've got a fallen tree. And at the very back, you've got a tree that stood up. Uh, the good thing about all these three are they're all covered in green moss which gives a real swampy feel about the thing. So I'm just going to pop this on the tripod and I'll talk you through the image and how I'm going to take it. Right, uh, the settings for this are a third of a second, F11, ISO 100, 35 millimeters, and I am using um, a polarizer filter on there as well. That's just to take the edge off the glare of the water really as the sun's coming down and it's bouncing off the water. Um, it will just take the glare off um, it'll make it a little bit more softer image as opposed to really bright so right how i'm going to take this particular image is i'm going to focus stack it so i'm just going to zoom in on the very first branch or the tree that's sticking out let's put that on manual let's just make sure i can get that in that's it now i'll take a picture of that then i'm going to take the second one so we go up just a little bit where the tree in the middle has fallen over zoom in on that one as well and then we're going to take a picture of that there and then finally i'm going to take a picture of the tree in the far background so let's go up along to about there i think and zoom in on that trunk of that tree 
and then we get that in focus as well out there I'd say right so we've got three different points now we've got the, the first tree here and then we've got the middle one which arches over and then we've got one at the very back now, all three of them individually are all in focus so what I'll do is when I pop it into affinity photo I'll let that do its magic and um, get them all stacked so you get um, good detail from front to rear um, then just basically edit it how I feel it should be I think it should be like a quite a dark moody picture possibly I do like darker moody pictures even though the Sun is shining it's a bit bright so I'm just going to tone it all down a bit and uh, see what I can come up with next image that I'll be taking so what we've got in the foreground is this tree that's grown over horizontally and then next to it or about five meters behind we've got another tree as this one here and that's grown horizontally as well and in the very background we've got another tree that's grown horizontally as well so we've got three layers horizontal lines going across now to break that up we've got a little bit of reflection in the pond itself and right in the middle of the image we've got a small little island i think they've just got some grass growing out of them and some moss as well um, i think this should make okay um what i'm going to be doing because the clouds are covering the sun they keep coming in and out so i'm just going to wait for the point where the clouds cover the sun just a little bit more so nothing's too harsh because um, it gives me the best of both ways i can do it with um with all the brightness out at the moment or well, can wait a couple of minutes let the sun go in a bit and then we get a much softer image as well so I'll be taking a few shots and uh, let's see which one comes out the best This will be the last image of the day and I'll just talk you through and uh, tell you what I mean by the composition. So as you can see it's really bright now, it's uh, midday, the sun's up really high so I've decided to come in quite deep into this little part of the woodland where I can, um, make sure that the light isn't as harsh as anywhere else. So in this composition as you can see there's a tree branch that runs across the bottom which will form like a border on the bottom of this image. Uh, next up we've got one, two trees coming off at like a 45 degree angle and in the middle we've got one that just goes straight up. What I do like about this is where it is so bright um, it makes everything, all the moss look really like electric green so it really pops. Um, I'm going to overexpose this image as well um, just to make it look more um, flooded out in the background so there's hardly any detail in the background I'll uh, pop it back up on my camera and I'll show you what I mean come over here Hal. good boy as I was saying we've got the two trees going off at a 45 degree angle and we've got this to border um, the image at the bottom uh, with this particular setting I'm going to go f4 so everything in the foreground is nice and sharp anything behind 
just gets burnt out really uh, be as white as you like it can almost like represent like a foggy mist in the background if I expose it just correctly uh, we're on f4 like I say really shallow depth of field I say 100 um, we're shooting at 1 25th of a second and we're on about 30 mil or so let me just show you whereabouts I'm going to focus in it's the right hand tree halfway up so let me just make sure that's in focus zoom back out again and I'll take a couple of these and see how these come out Unfortunately, blue skies, bright, bright sunlight, and it's going to be a little bit harder now to try and find somewhere in this woodland um, without the trunks of the trees being blown out or anything like that. So I think I'll call it a day. Um, if you have liked this video, please like and subscribe and uh, leave a comment to your favourite image. Till next time, see ya! Ready? Come on then.